So now here, what I'm going to do is add an edit button because I also want an option here to basically edit this data. So what I'm going to do is add an edit button. So if I go down here, let's add a div tag with a class of settings. And basically these classes are just for design purposes. All right. And here I'm going to add an anchor tag and I'm going to set the class to edit and I'm going to say edit here. All right. And for the href, I'm going to say data slash edit. And I'm also going to insert an ID here. Okay. Because again, this is a single data from the database. All right. So if I actually click this edit button, I'm going to use its unique ID in order to edit this data. All right. So here I'm also going to display the ID. So I'm going to say data dot ID because it's already coming from this data right here. All right. And if I click this button, it's going to take me to data slash edit slash its ID. All right. So it's going to be unique for that and it's going to be unique for this record as well. So if I go here and if I pick edit, so it's going to give me another ID. So basically in this page, what I want to do is display the form for editing data. Okay. So it's going to be similar, similar to adding data. All right. So let me first create a route for this path. So let's go back to app.js and here, let me comment and say route for edit page. All right. And here I'm going to say app.get. And for the path, I'm going to say diary slash edit slash, and it's going to be colon ID. All right. And let's also add a callback request and response. And here also we're going to we're going to do the same thing that we did right here. All right. We're going to look that specific data from our database. So we're going to say diary dot find one whose ID is equal to request dot params dot ID. All right. And this request dot params dot ID is nothing but this id right here okay so we're going to find that data from the database and if it's fine if it finds that it's going to return a promise and it's going to send the data all right and here again what you're going to do is say res dot render and we're going to render a new page and the name of this page is going to be edit and along with that, we're going to send this data to the page. So it's going to be the same thing. So data, data, and this data is basically the data from here. And this data is basically the name that we're going to use in our AJS. All right. Along the way, if there is any error, we can actually catch that and console log the error. All right. So let's save that. And let me also create the new edit.ejs file. And let's add the headers and the footers. Let's copy this from the about.ejs. And let me paste it here. Remove this. And let me just display the data for now. Save that. And if I refresh this now, it is not working. Huh. Oh, that's because I actually, in a route, I actually added, actually said slash data slash edit slash ID. All right. And here I created a route for slash diary slash edit slash ID. So definitely it's not going to work. Um, what I'm going to do is go to, go back to my page.ejs. And here, instead of data, I'm going to say diary. Let's save that. And now it's going to work. So if I go here and refresh the page, if I go back, refresh the page, if I hit edit here, and there you go. Now it's taking me to this diary slash edit slash ID. 
and it's giving me this data and the reason why we need data here is because in our form I just want to add that data inside our input okay because this is going to be our edit form so here in our edit.ejs let me go to add.ejs and copy everything right here all right let's copy that and let's just paste it because it's going to be the same thing the layout all right we're just not we're just going to need to change a few things here so if i save this and if i refresh the page again okay so this is basically the form for add diary and now instead of add what i'm going to do is say edit refresh the page and since i have access to those datas i want the data to be inside this input field whenever i come to this page all right so what i'm going to do is in our input field i'm going to set the value to those values all right so here i'm going to say data dot title and here since this is our text area i need to add it inside here and here i'm going to say data dot description all right save that and if i refresh the page there you go now you already have this data inside here and similarly if you go to this new record right here if you go to click the edit button and there you have it instead of this add to diary let me just say edit to diary right the data with the new ones all right so if i go to my form here i'm going to change the action from add to diary to diary slash edit slash and i'm also gonna give of this data all right so i'm going to say data dot id because we will need this id in order to edit data in our app.js all right 